All right, um, in order to help you guys do some corrections on an assignment that you had, the SSS, SAS, ASA, and AAS congruence, I wanna just give you a few hints. Um, this was actually graded, I corrected it, made check marks for things that were right or wrong. Um, I'm not gonna do them all, but I'm gonna talk through just a few of the problems. So it should help you to figure out what you're doing wrong and make corrections to resubmit, or if you haven't done it, um, I'm actually gonna leave with the sub some extra copies. Yeah, they are. And uh, leave with the sub some extra copies. So if you have it on your missing assignment list, um, this is something that you can work on and turn in to me Thursday before you take your test. Um, first of all, you're looking to decide if the two triangles are congruent. As I go through this, and I, like I said, I'm not going to do them all. I'm just going to do a few. Um, as I go through to decide if these are congruent, I'm always looking to see what, you know, maybe I can conclude that's not marked already. And in number one, I can mark the reflexive, um, it almost looks like the hypotenuse of two right triangles. Right now though, I can't assume that they're right triangles. All I know is I have congruent angles. And it looks to me like as I go around, I have a side, pair of sides, pair of sides, and actually the not included angles. So this would be an ASS. We don't have that congruence theorem, so we're going to say these two are not congruent to each other. There's nothing that fits. There's nothing that fits the bill. Now, if I go down and do number three, though, and I go, oh, okay, we share this side, it stands out to me that this would be SSS because we see three pairs of congruent sides. Moving down to number five, and, I, and no rhyme or reason for the problems I'm picking, just a few here and there. Um, in number five, I only have a pair of sides and one pair of angles marked. So as far as I'm concerned, these are not congruent, um, and there's just not enough info. Now, it does say state how you know, so let me go back. I feel like up here, um, I could say that there's no ASS theorem because that's what we had. Kind of funny, but it is what it is. We know we don't have the ASS theorem. Uh, I want you to check, take a look, see at nine and nine down here. I'm going to recognize that there's vertical angles going on, and I can mark those. And as soon as I mark those vertical angles, I see I have a side angle side relationship. So these two triangles would be congruent by side angle side. Always go looking for those verticals. I've seen those on quite a few things. So the other side, if you have corrections to do, hopefully me just talking through these gave you some idea of how to help. My big concern though, really, and I didn't want to miss talking about this, so I wanted to put this video together, was on the back side, figuring out how to answer these. And I found that the easiest thing to do is a ruler here. I found that the easiest thing for you to do, you're gonna laugh tomorrow when you watch this video and go, that was me, that was me talking. Um, Uh-oh, my little camera's getting messed up here. All right, so on the back side, let me do, I'm just going to grab a couple, 11, 15, and 18 I'm going to look at. Now, they were asking what additional information is required in order to know that the triangles are congruent for the given reason. So this says I have to have an ASA. You've got to look at the drawing and you've got to see what you already have. What I see is, is that I've got a pair of angles. I have this side congruence, and I need the included side in it. So for ASA to happen, I'm just going to mark that I need these two angles to be congruent to each other. That's what I would need for ASA. And I honestly am very happy with just having the markings on the drawings. That was the easiest thing to look for when I was grading papers. With 15 wanting SAS, I have a pair of sides, I have an angle, and if I snag and mark, these sides, I now see SAS congruence, SAS congruence. I think some of you overthought this, to be quite honest. Um, in 18, with SAS, this one made the assumption that you grab these vertical angles. At V, there's an angle pair. SAS means that the angle has to be included. So since these two sides are congruent to each other, I'd mark off this WV and VM side so I see that side angle side with the included angle between. I hope this helps so you can at least either finish this or um, correct it to earn some more points back considering what you earned the first time. Good luck.